Okay, this is the old Fraser house. This is where my father grew up. His dad and mother lived here. And this is the corner of, uh, what is this, Ott Street, or First Street and uh, Fifth First Avenue. Street. And this, who lived on this corner here? Richard's with me now, Richard this is, Walker. Uh, Alfred lives here now. And before that was uh, Parker's. Yeah. And this next house here was uh, William Fraser and Ani. And uh, their daughter Beatrice, Tom Patch, I think his name was, and uh, qu quite a few other Frasers. They were, William Fraser was a nephew of grandfather Joe Fraser's, and he worked for the railroad. And uh, who was this on this side, uh, oh, this Richard? Was, uh... Back then it was uh, Reynolds lived here. Okay. Yeah. And this house over here? That was the Schenger house. That was my uncle and aunt and uncle lived here. Yes. Oh, this one here is just built. Okay, this is a new house. But there was a house here before. And then looking across here, uh, this brick house here? Yeah, that's uh, Norm Miles built it. That was my aunt and uncle, too. And uh, they passed on and they sold it. I don't know who lives there now. And then uh, the White House, that looks quite a bit different. Doesn't it? Yeah, that was uh, the last least. Of as long as uh, I can remember, the Remelis lived in there. Okay. Tom Remelli and Virginia Remelli was his daughter. And then we had a house here. Yeah, this is at Mox, Mox old house. And this house on the corner. Uh, I can't remember anymore. This would be the Ott Street right here. Yeah. And then the... This house used to be Zendron's lived in there. They was, uh... Okay, so that was the Smith's house at the end of Ott Street here. And who lived there before the Smith's? Well, I, I can just remember them. Okay. And then, uh... What is that? Six... Avenue right here, and it goes out to East Rochester. If you go just one more block uh, along here, uh, it's going to go to East Rochester. Ours, they was Germans, they're from Germany. They used to fight with the neighbors up to the ground of war time. You know. <laughs> then there was made it there, Magnoli, Mostoffers. That's where Frank Bernie lived. Uh, House. In the Spagnolia's house, and that's where Nancy's Nancy Spagnolia's store was. It was Clover Farm store, and uh, that next house there, who, who were living in there? Well, the old uh, chief of police Ray Edge used to live there. Oh, okay. And now it's the Haglins live there now. Skip Haglin. Uh, he married uh, Lorraine Ciani. Where they live. And then this house here, this little white house, was. Yeah, that was uh, uh, Yost, Mr. Yost, lived there. His son had a pair of down on Main Street and Freedom there. Oh, I didn't remember all these houses here. Oh, this is Lay's. I don't know if you remember that. Charlotte and uh, Colleen. They had a big family. Franklin Myers, I don't know if you remember him or not. Yeah, Frank Myers, yeah. Yeah, they lived there. I know that Rem remember the name. In this house, I, people named Hall lived there years ago, but uh, I didn't know much about them. 
In this place here, Johnny Spagnoli lived here. Jack Hoffman he used to rent uh, the upstairs apartment in this house here. And I remember that there was a mailman that lived downstairs. Yeah. Uh, Fritz Holzinger. Okay, I, I don't remember the name, but I, I remember that mailman. And there's the, the original Walker house where uh, Louis Walker and uh, what, what was their parents' name? Uh, the, the whole Walker family, all the Walker boys uh, lived there. And then later on, the Swartzes moved in, and they've been the Swartz family's been here ever since on the corner there. And uh, I believe there was a Milligan family here at one time, one of the Milligans. And uh, going up the hill there, uh, Frank Schuller and uh, his wife Kay built this house up here, and it was built uh, about uh, 1945 or Oh, no, maybe 1952 or something like that it was built. And then this is called Unionville Road whenever you go up there a little ways. Uh, around the corner because it's Unionville Road. And then there's a little cutoff that goes to Mingle Heights. The next house over from Larry Swartz or the Swartz family is, uh, who was that? Siani's up there. Brandon Siani and Brandon. 